Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today we're reacting to Season 1 Episode 2 of Peep Show and this one is called The Interview. Now depending on whether I can get this up on YouTube or not, this video will either be 4 minutes where it will be me doing this intro and then afterwards talking about the episode and the link to that will be in Daily Motion to Full Reaction or I've managed to get the whole thing up. I don't know at this point, it's uh, difficult to tell Peep show is hard, like you can get it up, but sometimes you can't, so we'll just have to see. But no guys, very much looking forward to getting into this one, and if you guys do enjoy this reaction to Peep Show, make sure to like, subscribe, and let's get into the reaction. And here we go, guys. So, episode one was great. Now we've got episode two. I remember some of the characters, like we've got Mark and Jez, I also remember Sophie, the girl who Mark's trying to get with, and Tony. I wonder what kind of socks Sophie wears? Do women wear socks? Well, yes, sometimes is the answer to that. Mm. Socks before or after trousers, but never socks before pants, that's the no. rule. Makes a man look scary, <laughs> like a chicken. He just does not do one <laughs> solitary shit. Yeah, take that big suit. Your toilet seat regime is over. He doesn't. He ah, doesn't. Freedom. Brown for first course. White for pudding. Brown is savoury. White's the treat. <laughs> of course, I'm the one who's laughing because I actually love brown toast. Well, there you there go, mate. Is. There you go. Dr. J. Good morning, Mark. Sorry I didn't manage to hook up with you and Superhands last night. Wedge of ballast, then back to bed. That's a bit like the Crusher in Star Wars, but mm. red hot. What if Mum and Dad were trapped in one, and I had a big hook I could swing down to rescue one of them? <laughs> Who would I pick? Because I didn't get a chance to tell you the good news. I just love how they, they, have, they just live in their own heads. Like Mark with his socks. Miracle system. I can't be a clerical Jeremy assistant. I'm a with musician. his you Star Wars crusher. To do your laundry it's crazy. Coffee. They'll be off their tits. So it's tomorrow at 11, all right? <sighs> tomorrow at 11. Yeah, sure. I'll set the video. Don't joke. I'm not. It's a damn good company. And it'll be the two of us together. Jez and Mez, the El Dude brothers. Mm -hmm. It's just the music. It's really starting to hot up. You know how much I respect your music. It's just... Superhan said he's come up with a bass loop for our new track that is so good that when he tried turning it off, he literally couldn't. He actually <laughs> physically couldn't do it. I'm on your side. Every artist needs his patron, mm. but, you know, there's a limit. Oh, the rent. I'm not some kind of land baron trying to milk his cash cow. It's just... Don't worry, you'll get your milk. You know, this track's a banker. I mean, everybody needs their something stupid. Sorry? The guy who wrote that, he's probably he up to his neck in stupid, penny like... loafers and blue pool tables. Right. Add a little touch of crimson. Limey, what's God up to? So let's do just but a... listen, Jeremy, <laughs> just in case the song doesn't work out, maybe you'd better fill this out and fax it over by three. Hmm. Think about it. And have a great day, yeah? See you tonight. Uh, yeah, cool. Have a good one. You too, mate. Bye, mate. Work shy freeloader. <laughs> Tight-fisted cock muncher. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like they've got these deep inner thoughts but never show it. My this, as this show goes on, today. I feel like they're just going to get angrier and angrier until it all blows up. You bastard. <laughs> Sorry, that just really made me laugh. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? She could say no. Actually, that'd be terrible. It would destroy me if she said no. It's all right, mate. There you just got to. You know, about only riding the lift to the first floor. You're wasting mine and other people's time. Not to mention. Oh, ah, uh, okay. People like him should wear stickers. They've got them for their cars. Oh, yeah. Great idea, Adolf. Morning, Mark. Hey, Sophie. Go on, ask her. Sophie, are you... I mean, would... How's your day going thus far? Have a nice shower or bath? Why do I smell? 
God, no, you don't smell. I mean, you smell nice. Not that I've smelt you. Oh. Uh, see ya. Later, potato. Uh, oh, Mark. Potato. What have I become? <laughs> you just see the disapproving stare. Dan said he'll be here in 20 minutes. Means I've got at least an hour. Yeah, I I've got Mark's people got exactly like that in my life. Okay, where's today's cartoon? Hmm. Not bad. No discernible romantic overtones. Okay, Pen. Let's flirt with Sophie. Mark's got no conception. He thinks I'm so... But really, I'm busting my creative balls here, day in, day out. No, but it's all, where's the money? Where's my rent? I mean, where's the rent, Mr. Jim Morrison? Mr. Keats? No, you don't like the attack dog, do you, Mr. Keats? <laughs> Hold on. I think I've struck the mother load. Oi, oi. What the hell is that? That is very gay. That's what that is. Come on, go crazy. You're hungry like the wolf. Fantasy figure modeler. Jesus. Maybe this is his porn. I'm giving her a love heart. Yes, that's good. No, no, it's not good. It's terrible. Think crazy horse. Think in your face. What would Jeremy do? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Love's for Nazis. Yeah, crazy love. Nazi love. I'm a nutter. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> and she's a sexy elf. So she might be, oh, you dirty hobbit, take off my bodkin and my jerkin. Oh, yeah, pixie ears. But that sword, what if she was a hobbit slayer? I just use my enchanted amulet. <laughs> Yield to me, hobbit slayer. You oh, for goodness sake. He, maybe he doesn't need this job interview. And then I He's got too much time on his hands. By doing something wicked like this cartoon. Swastika love. It's bloody mental. I feel like you're going to come to regret that. So this is the infamous base It's in your face. It's just... I don't like it. Oh, well, I do. I just don't. Oh, right. Well, this is it, is it? What? Look, this is the end of the hair blair bunch. Uh, we are not the hair blair bunch. Whatever. Sorry, this is the end of spunk bubble. This is the end of Mama's cumquat. This is not the end of Mama's cumquat, Jez, because I never agreed to it being Mama's cumquat. Look, if this is it, if this is John and Paul, 1970, then I need money for the equipment. This is like your whole Balearic bullshit, isn't it? One minute it's all, oh, I love you, man. Next, it's where's that 50 quid you owe me? Look, I'm just saying I need money and... Hey, listen, mate. Shit is as shit does, my friend. Oh, look, Jez, I'm sorry, mate. This is all bullshit. <laughs> you can't the hair blair bunch. You're not the hair blair bunch. <laughs> a bloody swastika. Oh, a single word. I couldn't stop looking at his wall. I really wanted ever. to finish painting I mean, that. a swastika. It's gone. Oh, it's no. happened. Oh, yeah. Do what Jeremy would do. Thanks, Jeremy, you tit. <laughs> it happens, mate. It yeah, happens. perfect plan. I want to fax this off. You just got to hope oh, Sophie is sympathetic tired. about Let's it. Let's both lie down on your bed. I hope she gets out the bong and not the fucking cafetiere. Yes, yeah, so I was wondering. <laughs> you're switched on kind of lady. You've probably got a fax machine and all that stuff, right? A fax machine? <laughs> yeah, right. Like I'd have a fax machine. <laughs> What have you just come from the 1980s? This is like that movie, The Spaceman and King Arthur, but in reverse. <laughs> I yeah, don't like no, Tony. I've just got this crappy job application. I much prefer right. Sophie. Okay. Listen, tell me something, Jeremy. Have you ever tried to do the washing up without using washing up liquid? What? Has Mark been talking to you? Could you clean a pot or a pan without using a scrubbing brush? A sponge or a scouring pad? I don't think so. So what you're saying is these kind of products are essential. The kind of products no one could do without. Well, you're kind of making me say that. Exactly. Now, the first thing to say is that this is definitely not pyramid selling. This is 100% okay? pyramid selling. Right. Good. What's pyramid selling? Oh, for goodness sake. Enter She's going to take of advantage of him, that crisps. poor bastard. She's ignoring me. Of course she's ignoring me. This morning I sent her a bloody swastika. Jesus. 
This is the worst thing that has ever happened to anyone ever, and relax, Mark. You're not Hitler That's in his it. bunker. He was really under the cosh. Mind you, at least he had a girlfriend. Okay, enough mooning. Let's strap on the nose bag and eat some serious work. I mean, does that look like a pyramid to you? Clearly, it's not a pyramid. It's a pie. Well, and it's like a big, lovely club with free money for everyone. I mean, it sounds great, but free money for everyone. Ha! Look out the window, Jeremy. That's never going to happen. Not in this old world. No. See, the early birds are going to find their bird table covered in money pie. Right. Cheers. But Do the not fall for it. Lately, they get a slice of the pie, but then they look closer. And oh dear, it's only pastry. Boo hoo, Johnny and Sally. Are you with me? Yeah, but you're trying to do exactly that Hello, to him. Sophie? It's, it's just Big she suit. takes advantage of him, then him Never someone else, that. and it's Not just. Not necessarily a disadvantage. Why don't I get this fixed? Why don't I ever get this fucking thing fixed? Every <laughs> night it's fifth. Ah, oh, it always comes out eventually. <laughs> oh, Mark. Hey, Mark. Like the cartoon? Oh, I'm so... You did? Yeah, it's um, it's meant to be me and Barbara from Personnel, right? And uh, she's handing me this heart of holiday pay. Um, but in the heart, it's just... Race hate? Exactly. <laughs> That's so Barbara. She's such a racist. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, exactly. obviously, it's not good uh, to beat listen, Barbara, Sophie, but at least Sophie has your home number. been uh, sympathetic work, about it. I need to swap a shift or that is if you don't no i don't if that's what you want she's actually writing it nicely done mark nicely done there you go see you later oh hang on this isn't enough numbers oh no it, it is enough numbers oh god i hope she doesn't mind about my balls <laughs> that's going back to the first episode where um what Jeremy was saying about Mark exactly. watching TV. If it was such a bad girl. thing to do things by the book, there wouldn't be a book. Have to keep an eye on him if he gets it. If there's one thing JLB does not need, it's a maverick. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> things went rather well with... I bet he did it. Oh, what, just because he's black? No, I mean, not because... He was at the garage at the beginning. I know what you meant. Anyway, uh, in the end, I got Sophie's number. We already know he's the only one with the key to the lock-up. So do you, do you think I should give her a call? I no. I probably should, shouldn't I? No. Oh, I really don't know if I should. Well, you should Maybe you should. OK, listen, if God's doing mountains Unless or sky or Unless you have something water, to say. Call, if he's doing because when Mark tries critters, to improvise, as we saw yeah, earlier in the office, God decide. didn't Ready? go too well, did it? Yeah, sky. Right, here goes. OK. Now with a large brush. The following names have been presented to us by temporary employment agencies, all of which have been ascribed to your national Answer phone. Ah, you see? He did do it, but for a nice reason. Who's the racist now, Mark? Uh, Sophie, <laughs> uh, if you heard that, please ignore it. I I'm not a racist. Far from it. Uh, anyway, uh, oh, Mark. Uh, uh, good to hear your voice. I, I know it's only a recording, but you have got a bloody nice voice. Okay. And, God, uh, I just called up to say hi, and then, uh, th then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like, "I like you." I mean, not that. But uh, anyway, I noticed that the paper in the in the photocopy here is running a bit low, so I know it's not really your job, but uh, well, you know, so. Uh, see you tomorrow. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I've really fucked it. Yeah, that was Have awful. I fucked it? Maybe it was charming. It was the behaviour of an oddball. No, not an oddball. Uh, a maverick. Um, you may not play by the rules, but by Christ, you get results. Come on, let's go and have a drink. Forget about it. Have you forgotten about the phone call yet? No. Right. And tell me, Mark, how much washing up do you think you could do without any washing up liquid? I'm sorry? Exactly. And what about our friends and neighbours and colleagues? What? I mean, everyone needs cleaning products, and that's the one thing that's never going to change, right? 
Why are you talking like this? Well, <laughs> that's a very interesting question. Now, the first thing to say would be that this is not pyramid selling. You're doing pyramid selling? No, no, not pyramid selling. I can't Mark can see through it. Pyramid selling. No, listen, listen. It's not pyramid selling, it's network marketing, and it's a guaranteed money making. Mark, I've seen the, the charts. Oh, the charts. There are charts. Why didn't you tell me about the charts? Are you trying to piss on my bonfire? I'm trying to protect you from pissing all over yourself. True. I'm not about to piss you on are, mate. myself. You are, mate. Tony's going to take advantage I'm of you. pissing into the big time. You're still coming to the interview? Yeah, well, I thought. Listen, Jeremy, you don't seem to understand. Nothing you want is ever going to happen. That's the real world. Your hair isn't red, people don't walk around on stilts. Maybe somewhere you can earn a living sitting around drinking margaritas through a curly plastic straw. But in this world, you've got to turn up, log on and grind out. Mm. Yeah, but if you get in early... Come Friday, you'll owe me three months rent. You're coming to the interview. OK. Mark's okay. being a bit more authoritative. Oh, I'll come to the interview Good. all right, but I don't think I'll be getting the job. Oh, for <laughs> goodness sake. <What? laughs> uh, nothing, just uh, something funny. Can you... See, a lot of people have said that to me, like when you're drinking whiskey or whatever they're drinking, to um, use water as a mixer. Maybe she I've never seen it myself, charming. but... Yeah, maybe. Just keep clear of her till you've worked out. Or maybe they're drinking scotch or something. I could say Jeremy had a gun and made me sing it because he's a crackhead and he does that sort of thing all the time. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Me living in my crack house, maybe you could be a crack bitch and sit on my shit. Shit, sugar, fudge, piss, poop, pants, bollocks. Yes, Blitzkrieg, I'm in the Arden. <laughs> you can't touch me in the Arden. I just it's love his references. Blitzkrieg. <laughs> Arden. I'm safe in the cupboard. Yeah. Oh, Mark. No. You're in the stationary cupboard. That's right, Jeff. Okay. Right. Well, um, I hope you're having a good time. Yeah, well. Hi, Mark. Oh. Hi, Sophie. I'm just in the cupboard right now. About the message, we'll talk later, yeah? Uh, yeah, fine. Oh, Mark. <laughs> okay, here we go. Operation come over like an I feel for him. I really Jeremy feel Osborne? for him, guys. Hi, I really I'm feel Barbara. for him. Do you want to walk this way? Right, you are. I might wobble a bit because I'm still a bit pissed from last night, you see, and I don't want to get your hopes up too much because I have to say, I'm only really here because, you know. Obviously, you know Mark Corrigan. Mark. Oh, shit. Mark's one of the team of loan managers you'd be working Got for. Got to be really careful. Don't want to get the job. Don't want to piss off the land baron. Yeah, you have to tread a very thin line. Like crap. We have to make sure we've ticked all the boxes, so to speak, and kept everything above board. So, um, if I can outline the basic requirements of the role you'll be undertaking, you'll basically be responsible for updating and maintaining the filing system. Now, that probably doesn't sound very important, but the truth is... Shit, what's she talking about? Hmm? Nod. Look serious. I'm Di, she's Bashir. ...is a portal through which the whole company communicates, and if you think... Great. He'll be able to pay off the blockbusters fine. Plus, I'll be able to order him around. Not that was horrible, such a throwback just... blockbuster. Jeremy, could you file this for me? Jeremy, could you take that for me? Jeremy, could you suck this for me? Jesus, where did that come from? Mate, you need to calm it down. Do you have any experience in this field? Uh, I've done quite a lot, actually. I mean, not formal filing, but, you know, alphabetificizing the videos, doing the spices. I suppose what I'd want to do is build on that experience in a professional zone sphere. I meant sphere. God, that sounded amazing. <laughs> Don't accidentally get the bugger. We're doing great. Oh, no. So, I see you used to be a nurse. Wouldn't filing be a bit of a step down? Yeah, I suppose it would, actually. Although I'm looking for something more relaxing. Challenging. He means challenging. I expect Jeremy knows what he means, Mark. Yes, right. No, challenging is right. Um, but a bit more of a relaxing challenge. More like doing a crossword than a tracheotomy. 
Right. Nice. I like Shit. that. I like, I like that, that reference. Bloody charms only swinging it. Got to do something. Are you okay? What? It's just a thing I have. What thing? Facial. Spanning. He's really trying to throw Facial it now. Sp you do not have. I do sometimes. Well, um, I guess that's everything. Yeah. Jeremy. And he's blown it. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Yes, Barbara. Yes, there is. Barbara. How much washing up do you think you could do without any washing up liquid? Oh, for no, goodness sake. Where's this? It's a unique <laughs> business opportunity. It's pyramid selling, Barbara. I'm very sorry. And it's not pyramid selling, Mark. It's, it's pyramid selling and you're making a fool of yourself. You're pissing on my bonfire. There is no bonfire <laughs> because you can piss on it. This is low. This is really low. Yeah, well, at least I don't fancy elves and pixies. <laughs> what does that mean? I literally have no idea what it's supposed to mean. Okay. Uh, thanks for coming in. We'll be in touch. Well, that was a fucking disaster. I want compensation. I want reparations. I've Root given up. Reparations. I want the Rhineland. It's going to be 1919 all over again. Fuck the inevitable backlash. Okay. It's okay, Mark. Later. Now, calm. Calm, honest, and mature. Here Hi, we go. Sophie. Hey, Mark. I just bumped into your flatmate in reception. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I liked him. He kept talking about washing up. Very funny, <laughs> like Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you mean. Get your tanks off my lawn, Jeremy. But, uh, <laughs> listen, Sophie. Good. All right. I had a message last night. I want to kind of come clean, really. It's a bit embarrassing, but, well, the thing is... Just tell her. Jeremy, sometimes, for a laugh, makes me say things with a bread knife. Uh, I mean, he's obviously not a crackhead, but... Mate, just, just, uh, okay. just be yeah. honest, just be honest. Come Look, on. Mark, you don't have to, about the phone message, you don't have to be embarrassed about it. I don't? Of course not, it's just one of those things. Is it? It is? Oh, right. Fantastic. And you haven't told anyone about it? Of course not. Oh, thank I you, do thank not you, believe thank her. You, thank you. I do not oh, believe no, her for a second. Not bloody Pontius pilot. Yeah, well, you know, the truth is... The truth is, I suppose, I like you. Yeah, that's, that's all you have I to say, mate. That's all you have I to like say. I like you. Is that such a crime? Should I be hounded to the ends of the earth just for liking you? I like you, and if you can't handle it, you can just, you know, fuck off. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, I think I can... Oh, it was going well. Good. Right, excellent. Okay. Okay. Bye. See you later. Okay, and that's all you needed to do, mate. Hi, Mark. Thanks for bringing in Jeremy. He was quite the find. Uh, yeah, right. I'm really sorry. I mean, I, I thought it would be a good that he might, but... Hey! Hey there! Feeling better now, are you? <laughs> Fully recovered? Hey, I see you! I see you! <laughs> he used to have a limp. I, I mean, he pretended to have a limp. He's a faking little peg leg! Oh, wow. <laughs> Mark really does have a temper. Jeff? Hi, Jeff. Well, fuck you if you're not doing small talk. <laughs> I'm not going to help us out. Let's die together. Saying something stupid like I like you. Told you. And then I go and spoil it all by saying something. And that's it, guys. Like that I is like it. Wow, so what do we make of this episode? These are my thoughts on this episode that we just watched then. I mean, it's oh it's difficult. It is difficult because like you really want Mark to succeed. But he just, he, they just can't seem to, to get it together. 
it's really, ah, oh, it's like with Sophie, he could have gone about this a whole different way. If only, like, when he asked for her number, he could have mentioned he liked her. He wouldn't have to go through that whole phone call, which is now he's being ridiculed by Jeff for. And then, ah, oh, he wouldn't have to make up the stuff about the bread knife. It's just, ah, oh, for goodness sake. They're both having trouble with, um, they're both having trouble with what they're doing. Both with the uh, women they're trying to talk to as well. Mark needs to be more honest with Sophie, he can't keep doing all this crazy stuff like the phone calls and what he wrote on the cartoon. And Jeremy just needs to, I know it's hard obviously, but Jeremy just needs to lose this obsession with Tony. Because if you saw in the first episode what happened, then you saw in this episode what happened, she just does not seem like a, like a nice person from where I'm coming from. On a more upbeat note, I think Jez and Superhands are going to be making a really good thing. I liked the baseline on that. I wouldn't say that I couldn't turn it off, but it was still pretty good. And yeah, Jeremy completely blew that job interview. <laughs> and the line he said about it would sort of be like doing a tracheotomy instead of a crossword. Very good, that was very good. But yeah, guys, we're going to leave it at that. Like I said, hopefully this is up on YouTube. If not, it will be in daily motion. But yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later for the next video.